Hey guys and dolls, it's Jason and I'm back with another quick update. The markets are selling off absolutely gigantically right now. You've got to laugh on days like this guys because it's just not normal to see 10% moves down day after day after day in your portfolio. So we are actually in fact bottoming out in a correction I believe. I think that the worst of this is over. We do have Joan Powell coming out later and he is going to be doing an announcement. And I think that hopefully will be a positive catalyst for investors moving forward. We'll see how that does go. There has been absolutely no new news this morning. Again, it's just people selling off due to inflation fears and panic, which is so stupid because in my eyes, it really is not going to affect the markets long term like people are thinking it is, especially right now. Maybe in 2022, it will start to affect. But, you know, that is so, so far off. I think what will happen is actually we will have a very much a V-shaped recovery and next month we are actually going to see the, the retest of those highs again on the S&P of about 392. So let's dive into my computer. You guys can see up on the screen that we are actually sitting at about 382 right now on the S&P 500. You can see that we did actually touch that 200 on the SMA and we almost touched the 30 on the RSI. So this indicates to me right now that the S&P 500 did actually have a little bit of a sell-off and we are in fact actually testing a double bottom. You can see that we did actually test here just a few days ago and this is the second time. If this is number one, this is number two. In fact, we actually tested here three times because if you see this candlestick here, that is almost three times that we have actually tested below that 382 mark on the S&P 500. Guys, so I do believe that this is actually a double test of a bottom and I think that we are now in hopefully for some good news over the weekend and then we can start to retest again into those highs. What has happened is a lot of investors have moved their money from growth stocks into value plays. If you want more information about what my thoughts are on that and how I'm playing the markets, then be sure to check out this video above because that will go into a full breakdown and an analysis as to why and what I am doing currently in the markets. Now this, I wanted it to be a little bit more of an update on two stocks in particular, and I am going to play a clip of Kathy Wood just shortly talking about her ball thesis for NNDM and Tesla moving into the next year ahead. Now, if I come up and change the charts over to NNDM, you guys can see that we have had a gigantic sell-off, which is so unjustified, all the way down to $8. We actually did hit just below that $8 threshold in this sell-off in the last few hours since markets have opened. Now, I would personally be saying that this is a buy zone for me, especially around that $8.50 cent and below, because there is an enormous amount of support, and I really don't think selling off below these prices is justified for NNDM's future. Now, we do have earnings out in a few days, so if you would like more information on how I'm playing this, then be sure to check out this video above. But I still remain bullish that NNDM is going to be a $25 stock, and it's just about waiting out the storm that is currently ahead of us. And once we do sail through it, it will be clear waters. Now, the second stock that I want to talk about is actually Tesla. I am going to have to type it in because I don't think it is in my watch list currently, or it may be. I just hadn't realized where it is because I've got so many plays in here. So up on my screen is Tesla. Tesla is now sitting at $650. You can see that this is the second time that we have actually come down here and we are currently sold off. That isn't too I'm drawing on there. You can see that we are basically sold off on the RSI. Personally, I think this is a great area of support for Tesla. You can see that we have tested here before and we are currently below that 50 on the RSI, which does go to show me we are in a bit of a bear market. But I do believe that this will start to recover and we will start to retest those highs again and we can retest even in a bear market like the situation is right now over this last two weeks. We all start to retest underneath that 50 on the other side. If we do break above it and we close above it, then that will be an indicator that we are in fact running back into a bull market. And what I like to look for is this 21 on the EMA. Once we do actually cross over above the 21 EMA and we close, and again that 200 is below the, uh, the EMA, then that is when we are going to start to see that reversal take place. And again, that is when we start to enter that bull market. But short term, I did expect a lot of volatility as I've been explaining on this channel. We are in and due for a correction at some point this year. Year. I didn't expect it so soon. I did think that maybe this would be coming in the second or third quarter of this year, but this was all due to inflation rates again rising and the bond yield and the treasury rates going above 1.5%. Again, if you want more information on that, then be sure to check out this video, which does go into a full breakdown. Right now, I am going to play you a clip of Kathy Wood, and she is going to be talking about NNDM and also her conviction on Tesla moving forward. I am not worried about what the markets are doing. I'm not paying attention to the short term noise, guys, because I'm not a day trader. When 
I invest, I'm investing for 5, 10, 15, even 20 years out, maybe even longer in some of these cases. A lot of the stocks that I have conviction in are in that disruptive innovation. And as Cathy Wood says, right now she's investing a lot of capital into these uh, companies because in the long run, these companies are going to win, they are going to survive, and they are going to be the leaders in the industry. As Cathy Wood goes on to explain, it's no good having your money in value traps such as banks because in the long run, when we all actually come to digitalize money, which is what is slowly happening with the adoption of crypto and fintech, you know, you're going to be left bag holding some of these stocks that are just going to be absolute value traps and they are just going to run down in price that they have today, but they are not going to recover. So that is why I'm putting my money into innovation. I'm investing in the future. I'm investing in green energy. I'm investing in EV. I'm investing in solar stocks. I'm investing in biotech and farmed fuels that are going to fuel the future. None of this fossil fuel combustion engine rubbish. I do not believe in that long term. That is not sustainable for the economy. I don't want to be a part of that. I think that is going to cause the plant to have global warming and in 20 years we are going to be looking back and these things are going to be a way of the past and we are going to be far beyond this era of combustion engines so that is what i'm doing with my money i am so convinced that what i'm doing is going to be for a good change and it's also going to pay me out very very handsomely so i'm not worried again by this noise and volatility so let's play you this clip right now if you did find value at any point i just want to say then thank you for making it this far hit that like button hit that big red subscribe button my name is jason and i do make videos on the stock market every day i'll leave you with this Suffice to say you're still very long tesla right like I, we don't have to go to the story the taxis i get it right i don't want to take any more of your time so i just that's well, my correct think, on that i think many firms understand how big it's going to be in electric vehicles no one's giving it credit for autonomous our conviction on its autonomous strategy has increased uh significantly over the last few months Got it. Oh, it's your conviction has increased. That's good. Yeah, so yeah. maybe a new price target. Yes. And we've just finished our model. Uh, we're going to write the blog with it. And I keep saying two weeks and I apologize for people who are waiting for two weeks, but you know, compliance and other market activity uh, gets in the way. The last thing to finish up, oh, NNDM, anything on N, uh, like, uh, you know, genomics? Yeah, yeah. Nano dimension actually yeah. is uh, originally, it used to call itself a, a 3D printed uh, circuit board company. Now it's broadened its um, view of itself, you know, defining the market uh, to a 3D printed technology device company. It's getting incredible business from, uh, from defense agencies around the world. It's an Israeli company. We always look for what it, where the defense is putting their money, where they think uh, a technology is highly differentiated, uh, and we get to know the company, which we have, and we're very impressed with the new management. The, the, the founder is still very involved, but as is usually the case, um, a, a, company, a company's founder is into the tech, and really needs to bring in a business uh, partner, which he has done. So we're, we're very impressed. So guys, I hope you did enjoy this video today. If you did, then again, be sure to give this video a like, hit that big red subscribe button below. And if you made it this far, I just want to say thank you. I truly appreciate you. And thank you for all the support on this channel. I hope to see you back on my channel for some more content on investing soon. Don't forget to check out some of those other videos if you are panicking, because I'm sure it will give you a lot of reassurance. Don't panic. Make sure to have your cup of tea and I'll see you guys soon. Ciao.